today i'm putting every team starting point guard up to a 99 overall so you got some past players some current players some future players all becoming 99 overalls now as you guys can see the best player in the league is tyrese maxi and we're gonna go through every single team and just show you guys what the new team looks like we're gonna simulate a season see who's winning the championship and it's a little bit of an experiment we have fun around here so you guys can see tyrese maxi obviously was the best player in the league now he's the 99 overall on the sixers which the sixers always do good anyway so they might just end up winning a championship like for free here then we go over to the bucks damian lillard is a 99 now which i mean not too much of a difference i think it goes up like 10 overalls but i don't know maybe a little too good lonzo balls back in his prime and even better honestly so he's gonna be going insane and you got darius garland on the Cavs at a 99 overall usually they do pretty good drew holiday is now a 99 overall the celtics were super op in the first place but now you look at this and you guys see a 99 overall drew holiday on top of that it's crazy go over to the clippers russell westbrook is back as a 99 overall where he never was really a 99 overall but he's here you got everybody else on the team as well being pretty high overalls this is like a big favorite right there john moran if he didn't do the new pew pews you basically would be a 99 overall this is like pretty much a what if john morant was clean kind of guy and then we got the hawks trey young 99 overall right now he's been struggling a little bit more this season kyle lowry is a 99 overall which i think he had the biggest jump him or the spurs point guard did i think it was actually kyle lowry though he had like the biggest jump in his video so now he's a 99 overall then you got lonzo but not lonzo Lamelo ball at 99 overall as well so he's up there he's getting up there the jazz got taylor now he actually i think he was the highest jump i think taylor was the highest jump because technically jordan clarkson colin sexton those are kind of like the point guards there but uh they kind of just said you know what taylor horton tucker's the actual point guard listed on 2k so i was like all right i guess i'll just put him my point guard and then you got the kings De'Aaron fox out here 99 overall go over to the knicks jalen brunson delo is now on the lakers you guys see this team you guys see how he this team is they have a real big three now so they they could end up win a championship who knows the magic got cole anthony they were the, he was the best point guard i'm surprised it wasn't marco Fultz. i think cole anthony was like an 81 overall or like barely above him so i wish marco Fultz could have been 99 overall but sadly marco Fultz is not let me go over to the mavericks luca I, I probably should have just did Kyrie at that point but luca is their actual point guard so that's me i'm a 99 didn't really change this team pretty much looks the exact same as it did before the nets ben simmons is back ben simmons is no longer afraid to touch a basketball and if you guys see over here he has a he has pretty much a 99 three point i gave him like a max three point basically so a super high three point at least so now he's a 99 overall and can shoot threes jamal murray 99 overall so now he yoga not the best player in the league he's not even the best player on his team no more he has a 99 overall teammate which this duo is gonna go crazy man the pacers got tyrese at 99 then you go over to the pelicans cj mccollum is now a 99 overall never thought anybody would ever see that 99 overall Kate cunningham i feel like he's a bust but like a lot of people say he's actually pretty good like i don't, I don't hear anything about this man like i guess his stats are decent you know he's not a bad player at all but like to me he just screams bust he seems like he's a huge bust it's gonna be like an average like kind of first overall pick someone that just did all right you know what i mean that's what i feel like is gonna happen okay kind of like a marvin williams even though he was picked like third or fourth or something like a marvin williams he's in, in the league for a while but he's like a role player slash like good starter dennis schroeder is a 99 overall in the raptors raptors suck anyway so it doesn't even matter fred van vliet's a 99 overall they also suck but not in real life apparently uh they're actually pretty like on the up and up in real life but fred van vliet 99 overall and then tyus or not tyus jones trey jones was a nine is a 99 overall where is tyus jones at right now i think he got traded didn't he from the hawks or something like that or wherever he was before or he was on the uh, grizzlies i think he got traded for uh, who did who did he get traded for actually i forgot i feel like he got traded but anyway trey jones 99 overall or maybe he's still on the team i don't know if i'm just tripping but uh devin booker's a 99 overall as well they have him listed at point guard because they have like no real point guards so i guess he just plays their point guard for him according to 2k at least and then you got shea over here 99 overall as well then we go over to the timberwolves mike conley oh my boy mike conley he's back he's back he's going crazy man i miss mike conley malcolm brogdon is the final player not actually i forgot it's not the wizards it's trail wizards so yeah malcolm brogdon Stephen curry I went up like three overalls i think it was like two overalls not very much he barely went up and then tyus jones there we go he's on the wizards so tyus jones is 99 overall trey and tyus i don't even know if they're brothers are they brothers let me know in the comment section because i don't even know but both of them are 99 overalls and you guys can see the straight 99 overall point guards let's go ahead and send the season and we also have injuries off so like nothing's going to happen where they get injured or something like that and the sixers didn't really start off very good right there and here we are ending out the season and we're obviously using the sixers in this situation and they're about to get they got 63 wins so like i said they're going crazy and trey young wins the mvp which is kind of surprising i, I, I don't know but trey young ended up getting mvp averaging 32 7 and 11 so he did pretty good 7 11 over here man he's sponsored uh you know he actually shot 50 40 90 as well so that, that's interesting because isn't he shooting like pretty bad in real life right now they get rookie of the year is shut Wemby, I'm Wemby Gang. Are you Wemby Gang? I'm Wemby Gang. I'm not Chet Gang. I never liked him. I am Wemby Gang, and I stand by it. But sixth man of the year is Markel Fultz. And uh, that's funny because this way I was forced to be on the bench behind uh, technically one of the best point guards in the league. And the defensive player of the year is Taylor Horton. Horton. Taylor Horton. Here's a who. Defensive player of the year here. And uh, 32. 
points per game. This man didn't win MVP at 32, 13, and 8. Really? Okay. That's that's an interesting knock. That's a snub, bro. Look at that. That's literally... Oh, first of all, how do he average 12 rebounds? Can we talk about that? But that's a snub. That is literally a snub. He averaged better, way better stats than Trey Young. And he shot better from the field. Every, everywhere, bro, he's better than Trey Young. What? what? It's, it's discrimination, bro. It's because, bro, it's discrimination. It's because this man's on, what was it? Jazz, yeah, it's discrimination, bro. And we look at the first team, all point guards. Who, who would have thought? All point guards. Who would have thought? Oh, we got Giannis. Giannis snuck in. Yoker snuck in. So they made it in. And I think there was only players that snuck into the NBA teams there, the first ones. Let's go look at the NBA standings, though, real quick and see what's going on here. The Sixers were by far the best in the East. Best in the whole freaking league, bro. They're okay. So like I predicted, the Sixers are just insane. Actually, I wanted to see real quick who missed the playoffs. Probably going to be like predictable teams, right? Like you got to go look at Celtics. Celtics went 28 and 54. Celtics. Why? What, what did you do to your team? Did you do something? They did nothing. What what happened? Why are they so bad? And then you got the Bucks over here that missed the playoffs too? Are you kidding me? The Bucks missed the playoffs. That is, I, I don't even. I'm speechless. They just they just missed the playoffs. Uh, and then you get the Pacers. Mm, okay, the Heat missed the playoffs. Which 99? If you had a 99 Kyle Lowry, I would predict they would be pretty good. But I guess they're in a playing tournament technically. And teams like the Knicks made it and the Raptors. What? Okay, that, that's that's something new right there. We go over to the West here. The Lakers first team, we kind of already saw that. But teams that missed, the Suns. The Suns were the worst team in the league, really? Are you serious? What happened? Worst team in the league? Mavericks missed. I could have predicted that one, though. And it's pretty normal for that side. Let's simulate the playing tournament. And the Heat made it out, so that's interesting. We're just going to simulate the round one. We don't care about round one. I'm looking at that Sixers Heat series, and the Heat may beat them. So I guess the Heat were supposed to be underdogs. That's what they're meant to be. And we look at some of the series here. You guys can look through them if you guys want to. We got the Raptors versus Heat, Cavs versus Bulls. Clippers versus Timberwolves, and you got Lakers versus Pelicans. I say Lakers definitely win that series right over there. So similar to the round, I'm looking at that series, and no, they didn't. The Pelicans won, and the Heat just swept the Raptors. So the Heat, I guess, are just meant to be underdogs. They literally finished as the ninth seed or something like that, and they're here, right? They finished as the ninth seed. They did. They won the game. Then they won. Had they had to win two games to make the playoffs. By the way, literally, they had to win two games. I think no matter what, they would have been good. But actually, no, they literally had to win both games to make the playoffs. So now it's the Bulls versus Heat, Clippers versus Pelicans. Let's simulate the round. And oh, did the Heat just lose? The Heat lost. Oh my God, he lost in game seven. And it's Clippers versus Bulls. So Lonzo, if you can get yourself healthy, man, get into your prime, past your prime, you can go crazy, bro. Go past your prime. And the Clippers are going to win. Yep, the Clippers won. If you guys want to see another video where I did like random experiments similar to this, I did this with like the all-time point guards. Make sure you guys check that out somewhere on the screen.